we have fewer communists and those who are denied being one. And another reason to invest in Italy is we have such beautiful secretaries. <laughs> and another, at another time, he stood up to the Chinese authoritarian communist party by declaring that under Mao Zedong, the Chinese people were forced to boil babies. And he would not retract the statement, no matter how much the communist party governed. The communist party demanded he did. And another statement is when he complimented Italy's women by declaring that 30,000 troops would not be enough to protect such beautiful women from rape. What, what could be wrong with a compliment like that? It's not said for itself, this quote. It is about camping. It's that to cheer up the people who have been made homeless by an earthquake. He said, treat it as a camping holiday. A mildly, a mildly uplifting statement, a sentiment which I, I think it shows his generosity of spirit. But his opponents seized on that as somehow insensitive. I, I don't know why. Now, now let, let's look at his opponents. The economist is known for hating, or as he calls it, the e-communist, because it, it's clearly a Marxist publication. It advocates drug legalization and carbon tax. <laughs> and let's see his other opponents. A series of communist magistrates, vicious people, opposed to your holy church. <laughs> and that they persecuted for new years, getting topless models and prostitutes to accuse him of things that he would never do. I, I, I'm sure your, your omnipotent boss and master knows that, that he is innocent of all crimes these Marxist agitators accuse him of. I, I would like to, to finish by talking to you in, in your native tongue and, and say Im shabit bahabiyan li'inish shasim If you have it in your heart to, to, to uh, this imperfect man, then please do. Please let this imperfect man but the good and selfless man in heaven. And I apologise for my bad learning. <laughs>